Are you struggling to get off the mark, to start your own business? You've got all this bottled up creative energy that wants to like burst out of you and start this business? Well, I've got five reasons I'm gonna give you why spending money on your personal growth and on your business is so, so worth it. Number one, when we spend money, this is our human nature. When you pay for something, you have this need to like, I better show up. I paid X amount of money for this course or whatever it is, and we show up. It kind of self-motivates us to show up consistently. For example, you, you know, sign up for an event that's free at a temple or wherever you're going to be. And then the day of the event, you feel like, oh, I'm not feeling it. I don't really want to. You don't go. But if you pay for it, you're like, you know what? I paid for that ticket. I'm going to show up. The money that you spend on yourself is a great motivator for you to show up. Number two, learning new ways from other people's mistakes, you know, that something that you may not have thought of. And the courses, when you spend money on a course or anything that you're learning, you're learning proven things that somebody's tried and you know, in the long run, it saves you money because you no longer have to make that mistake. Somebody already did it. And now you just get to learn, okay, what not to do, right? Number three is um, when you pay for something, your focus becomes tunnel vision, right? Because I paid for this, I'm gonna show up for this course and that's all I'm thinking because I wanna get the max out of this. And how wonderful it is because your productivity goes up and it helps you narrow it down. So you're trying to maximize your learning for whatever you paid for. Number four, and this one's a really big one. When you are learning with other people, you're no longer alone in this. You have a community, right? You get to, sorry about that, my phone decided to go up, but, um, you know, you, you get to learn from other people that are in the same boat and you feel like, hey, I'm not the only one. I get to learn from somebody else's fears and insecurities or, you know, what kind of obstacles they run into when someone goes for beginning their own business or working on themselves. And number five, and this one is my favorite. We live in a world of instant gratification. We all want short-term pleasure. You know, if I buy this sweater, it's gonna make me happy. If I buy this, it's gonna make me happy. The truth is, when you invest in yourself and in your business, you're in it for the long haul. You could see far and you're investing in something that's gonna bring you benefits down the road, but they're gonna be multiplied tenfold. For example, when I signed up the year that I took B-School with Merge for Leo, it was a big investment for me and I have this thing with clothes. So for six months, I decided I was not going to buy any clothes and I invested that money into learning about more about myself and the business that I knew was inside of me. I didn't know what it was at the moment, but I knew there was something. And in the long run, now I'm at the point where my business is thriving and there's a part of my business actually on LTK where I get to buy clothes that I want, that I need for this, and I get to choose and pick. But financially, I had to do what I had to do in that moment. You may not have to, but it was such a wise decision on my part to do that so that in the long run now, you know, I'm able to give myself more than what I was holding back or investing in myself in that moment. So these are five reasons why it is the right time for you to invest in yourself and in your business. Oh, did you think we were done? No, no, no. I just thought of something that I wanted to share from my personal journey about taking online courses in general, but also specifically for the B-School that I took because this, this one was a big one. One of the things that, you know, when I said I paid for it and I had to show up, well, I showed up, I structured and I scheduled times where once I gave the check or sent in the money, I was like, all right, I sat down and I planned it out. I will go to the library two hours every single day. And then I showed up and I had my friend do it with me and we both did it together. You know, so it was like once a week, this was our B-School time. You know, that's how I chunked it out. Um, the second one was the tools and tricks that, you know, Initially, I thought because I don't have a big computer background, I'm not a, you know, huge, I don't have a business degree. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to hire this person, that person, you know, it's going to cost me so much money. 
But by doing the course, what I realized is there are actually smaller softwares or apps or things that I could download and, you know, put in a little bit of time myself. And that saved me so much more money in long run, because now I learned these tricks and tools that I can do this. Um, the third thing was that, you know, like when I said the focus becomes tunnel vision, right? For me, it was more like the creativity or whatever that you know, had to come out when I was setting the curriculum was I decided I took down my daily, weekly, monthly calendar. I said after dinner, I will spend hour with the family. And then after that, I will go in and put in the two hours every single day. And then it, some days it turned into instead of from eight to 10, it went on to eight to midnight because I was in the zone and it actually felt really good because it was so focused that I could figure out, okay, I should do this. I could include this. I got to play with things that if the time wasn't spent specifically for that, those ideas may not have come. And the sense of community. This one is a big one because I get to, I got to brainstorm with other people. I got their feedback. A lot of times people spend thousands of dollars getting, being part of these masterminds. And this is a built-in mastermind for you. You're not paying anything additional, but you're doing this with other people who are in the same boat, some way ahead of you, some at the same level, and some are still learning. But the, the key is that you get to be with the group where you get to brainstorm feedback. For example, some people turn in their logos that, oh, I'm trying to start this business. Which one would you like? Which logo do you guys prefer? And it's nice to get feedback from people that you know, think on the same wavelength as you do because they're doing the same course as you are. And the last one I've already told you, you know, the long-term goals versus the short-term, you know, the satisfaction or instant gratification. Um, when I did the course, I stopped buying clothes and now, you know, I could buy anything, meaning the things that I need for my business. And this is something you have to decide for yourself. What do you need to do to invest in yourself right now?